changes in the 2022 Buffalo Bills have started happening, right? So coaching staff, we've nope. already seen. Nope. Nope. That's not how you start. That's okay. You started, Paul. Okay. The question is this. What impact will Joe Brady have on play call? <laughs> it's a better title. <laughs> arguably a better title. I'm just saying. Oh, no, I'm just. It's arguably a better title. You love to wine and dine, the hashtag me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you give the information. See, Paul's great at that. Paul's great at d- giving the information. You see a lot of changes going on in Buffalo. Brian Dable going to the New York Giants. OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson following him there. Now the Buffalo Bills have a new quarterback coach in Joe Brady. <laughs> what do you think will be the impact of Joe Brady and influence on Dorsey and Allen that is, in the 2020? This season? is the most complete question you've ever asked. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put out there. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Normally it's like playing Scrabble, trying to figure out what questions you're asking me. Like, what the Q? Speaking of... (laughs) My dog ate all the Scrabble tiles last night. I think it's going to spell disaster. (laughs) (laughs) Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe right now. And don't forget, the uh, down in the description is the link to our Patreon. All Patreons get all these episodes early so you can laugh with us like idiots. Also Um, is the link to our merch store, which you can get your very own Hashtag Sports 13 Seconds t-shirt. It's down in the description. Is 13 seconds really any worse than 24 points? Like, isn't that just like the the counter now? No, this is a motivational t-shirt. Oh, okay. I'm I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I think it's an interesting discussion to have that as the Bills look at 2022, how much different will the offense be now that Brian Dable is out, Ken Dorsey is up, and Joe Brady is in? Because the hire of Joe Brady is actually pretty sneaky good. I think, like yes. for a first-time offensive coordinator at the NFL level, I think the Joe Brady hire is sneaky good. Now, it is. if you were moving up to a position that you had never had before in an NFL organization and you had to hire staff, would you want to hire people you were familiar with, or hire people who had the job with you that had the job before you, like not in that organization, but had had the role previously, uh, or? Is it best case scenario to find somebody who had the role previous to you and you also are familiar with? Is that like, isn't that perfect? I I think it's weird because I would like someone who is unbelievably qualified for the position. Like that's what I want. If I have to talk to proper people in the channels, if if someone I don't know, then I always, okay, listen, can you give this person a recommendation? I would go to people that I trust in. Right. He's taking this guy from Carolina. I'm pretty sure he knows some people in the building. Well, I can talk with Brady. So let's just briefly talk about Joe Brady's coaching history because I think this is important. Okay, ready? Started at William and Mary as a linebackers coach. Shocking. Oh, they started at William and Mary? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not shocking. Isn't that where McDermott was? Sure was. (laughs) (laughs) I figured I'd lead with this, right? Like, I'm gonna start playing Mary J. Blige. That's a family affair. He was then a uh, graduate assistant at Penn State, uh, New Orleans offensive assistant from 2017 to 2018. Uh-huh. 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 I like you. See where we're going here? He was in the passing game and wide receiver coach at LSU in 2019. <laughs> we could have been the passing game coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> but not the wide receivers coach at LSU. <laughs> Um, and then uh, Carolina Panthers offensive coordinator 2020 to 2021, which was end of Cam Newton era and start of Darnold. Darnold era. Right. So, I mean. Well, eh. people like the, people are kind of back and forth on that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>
So here's what you guys don't hear, that slide. We've been recording for a long time today, and we have a battery pack that's hooked up to keep the camera going. But the battery pack's not attached to anything besides the cord. I don't care. No, no, I don't care. No, come here. Get over here right now. Yeah, this is it. what it is, guys. <laughs> this is welcome behind the scenes. Yeah. So it's First up, I want to just point out the 2019 LSU Tigers. Do you know who was on their team? Joe Burrow. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. <laughs> yeah, Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Like you look at it like, oh wow, look they at had more. They had yeah. more. Check, oh, out yeah. the, check out the receivers. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Uh let's see. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I mean that's there you go. Players drafted into the NFL of the 2020 draft. Joe Burrow, uh, Clavion Chasen, outside linebacker for Jacksonville, Justin Jefferson, Patrick Queen, uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, uh Lloyd Cushenberry, the center. Um, the list goes on. There were, there were what? So much there had to be, there had to be 15 guys signed, signed or drafted off that team. Easy. Just that, just that one single solid. Jefferson and Chase. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Passing game coordinator. Guys, just, just go that way. Well, maybe he does fit in Buffalo's offense then. Guys, just go that way. Joe, just do Joe Burrow thing. You're saying he has less talent in Buffalo than he did at LSU? <laughs> I think it's a good hire in respect, right? The the, the resume's impressive, right? In a yeah. short time, the resume's really impressive. Yeah, let's open this up. Let's open, let's see what, what let's see what the kids got. Yeah. You know, I'm very interested to see. But as a quarterback's coach now, he's never been a quarterback's coach. So that tells me he's not really there to be a quarterback's coach. How much are you really working with Josh Allen? You're not. You're there to say, listen, Josh, this is what Ken wants to run. This is how you implement what Ken wants to run. He's, he's not really, really there that? to work on the fundamentals of Josh Allen playing the quarterback position. No, he's there to help install. That's, that's what he's there to do. That's Jordan Palmer's job. In the right. summer. <laughs> but that's but as a young as a that's why when you had David Culley. Right. David Culley was there to work on the finer points of playing quarterback. He was. And your quarterback's coach, you don't need that anymore. No. You need somebody there who's going to help your offensive coordinator install his system. It's more of this development. That's exactly that. right. So it's exactly right. But 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 Paul, we cannot discount what had just happened in Buffalo. Now, having an offensive coordinator in your system for four years mm -hmm. in this day and age is almost unheard of. It's yeah, not it's unheard of. Yeah. Either the guy's going to get a head job in college or he's going to go to a head job in, in the pros. Yeah. That's, that's what the coordinator yeah. at National Progression There's is. There's never a situation in today's NFL where a quarterback is drafted and signs a contract extension having the same coordinator the whole time. Yeah, because a bunch it of questions happens. go up in the air. Right. Oh, everybody's going to go, whoa, but Andy Reid's really the offensive coordinator. Save me. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> Spare me your nonsense. So if we look at it from that perspective, if we look at it from a certain perspective, the Bills just saw an offensive coordinator walk out the door to take a head coaching job, yeah. and they just promoted from within mm -hmm. a guy who probably has aspirations to be a head coach as well. Yeah. So what do you do? You bring in a guy who you're familiar with, who you think who has called plays before mm -hmm. at both levels and can work with the kid that you got. Are you saying that the Bills just drafted their next offensive coordinator? Hear me out. Signed. Here. Hear me out. Well, I effectively drafted. drafted. Yeah. So you can hear me out for a second. Ken Dorsey, let's say the Bills go back-to-back -back AFC championships, 22-23, right? Regardless of what happens, Ken Dorsey is instantly a head coach candidate. Instant. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. He'd have to be. Right. And you already have Joe Brady as your quarterback's coach. So yeah. you're saying the Bills have just done what the Bills do with their positional players, with their positional coaches. They did. They did. Effect, they it's have, a great, it's a, that's why I'm saying it's a great hire. Well, I'm saying what they effectively did was, like what Paul's mentioned is the fact that I always talk about Bean getting insurance policies around the NFL. Mm -hmm. You know, he always gets an insurance policy with a draft or a free agent or something like this. Well, why wouldn't it work? It, it's, he is the executive. Mm -hmm. you got to try to do that with your executives as well. Try to so you're not behind the eight ball on what you're doing. That's right. I mean, it makes sense. But – Didn't they try to get 
They try to get. Are, don't they have the offensive line guy from Minnesota? The assistant offensive line guy from Minnesota. I don't know if that hire is official. I, I, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, they just got the offensive line, uh, offensive line coach from Minnesota. I think that hire is official. Okay. Hey, did Minnesota run the football pretty good? They yeah, did. Sure, sure as shit did, didn't they? Yep, they sure. They, Minnesota runs the football well. Who's, and oh, and you know what they do in Carolina? What? Oh, they also run the football marginally well. I would say marginal. They run the football marginally well. And you know what both those teams have? Running backs. Elite level running backs. Huh. It's hmm. Okay. I, hmm. Putting putting aside the obvious sarcasm. Hmm. Here's the problem with your assessment here. <laughs> Delvin Cook. And Christian McCaffrey are not going to be confused if you put them in the same room, okay? <laughs> Moss is more tailored like Cook as far as running style goes. Yeah, Moss is a little dirty. And the closest guy to McCaffrey is McKenzie. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a guy that weighs buck 45 and can run out in open space? Yes. Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's so funny, though. But, I mean, Brady, I think it's a – what do y'all think? I mean, I'm just curious. It's an interesting. It's nah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>